Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome back to the Winds of the Reboot. I am your host. If I can get this thing to freaking stop moving. All right. Welcome back to the Winds of the Reboot. I am your host. I am freaking, 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 freaking. Welcome back to the Wednesday of the Reboot. Today we're going over King Sphinx. Sphinx! I always say it wrong. I always say Sphinx instead of Sphinx. It should be Sphinx, right? S-P-H-I-N-X. I-N-X. As I say K-S. So, <clears throat> you've probably been wondering, why haven't I done this yet? Well, I've been working on McFarland stuff, living my life, and working on three and three quarter world over there, Amrak Spot. And I just have seen so many people do this. I was like, why should I do it? Well, why should I do it? Because I have a new technique that I learned, well, that I'm learning, that I've been studying, studying. I've been watching YouTube videos on it, okay? And Googling about it. So, <clears throat> it's charcoal, right? I'm going to use some charcoal on him because he's about, he gets a pretty decent wash. It seems like uh, looking at some of the footage and some of the pictures I could pull, I, the Sentai stuff is actually much cleaner. And there's a lot of cool stuff going on with other people doing customs on him slash washes they're not really customs so i guess it's a custom because you're changing the look right you're changing it, you're making it your own so it is a custom so for me i let's highlight somebody i think uh crunchy underscore chio underscore creations i'll put his thing right here go check him out on instagram his link will be down in the description if you're watching this on instagram uh hopefully he comments and you can just Go right there. Actually, maybe I'll put it down in the description. Also for Instagram. So go check him out. He did a throne for this dude. And it looks freaking sick. My dude, Plastique. Mr. Uh, e &M Toys. I'll still call him that. I don't care. So formerly known as E&M Toys. He's been doing washes and stuff too. I've seen a couple other people do them. And I just want to do my own spin on it. But I want to do it with the charcoal way that I've been trying to learn. I've used it on a couple of figures. If you go on my Instagram, I actually did it on an IG Live on Instagram. Or here, if you're watching this on Instagram, this is really hard to be on two separate platforms. But anyway, so if you're on YouTube watching this, go check out my Instagram. Because I go live sometimes and I give little tips. And I did like a charcoal, a little bit of a charcoal thing. But so first... I'm going to use this uh, Mr. Super Clear right there. And this is the flat, I hope. Yeah, matte. It's the matte, which I'm pretty sure matte is supposed to be M-A-T-T-E. M-A-T-E, M-A-T-T. -T. Anyway, it's M-A-T-T. -T. So it's Matthew. So you can use the Matthew paint. And yeah, so I'll show you again. Uh, find it on Amazon if you want to go grab some up. Also, yeah, bite my nails. So if you guys got a problem with that, leave a comment. No, don't. It's fine. So first... We take dude out of the box, so let's do that right now. Ooh, ooh, he comes with a staff too, and I'm sure there's details on that we can paint. I haven't paid much attention to see if anyone detailed out uh, this, so that'll be fun to do. He comes with two hands. Let's get him out. Oh, yeah. Dude, he is big boy. Articulation is cool. Double joint freaking knees on a big boy. What? I'm going to be probably doing toy shots on this guy for like a week. He looks so cool. He's got the armor and stuff. So I've seen a lot of people left the head alone. Um, they didn't really weather it. I'm going to weather it because that's what I do. I know in the film, in the, film, in the shows... He's not, on both Sentai and uh, U.S. version, Power Rangers, he's not, his headpiece is not weathered. I'm going to weather it up because that's what I do most of the time. And it throws people off when I do the clean version. So we got that. We got wings. We got a really cool 
blending effect. It's so cool. I'm glad that we get this with every single figure. No, I get it. It's MMPR is light, you know, lightning effects. The rest of them, I don't know why. But, I mean, yeah. So, this is really nice. And we have two hands. So, he's got two sort of open hands. They're not super open. But they're like this. I guess like that's cool. Yes. Yeah, so then you got a grippy hand, probably to hold the staff. So I don't think you can hold the staff. Well, you probably could make it work. Yeah, it works sort of. Not really what you want because you want to hold it probably like there. I guess if you're doing like a two-handed thing, that pinky being like that is so weird. Why? Why is it like that? I don't know. I didn't design it. Whatever. The rest of them's cool. Uh, left hand, left. So if you're staring at me, it's right, but his left hand fist, and then like I said, right hand grippy hand. See, I don't know what's up with these weird pinkies, but I don't walk around like this. So, I don't know. Maybe he's like, Aah! who knows? Anyway, let's check out these wings. Also, for all the people out there who are like reviewers and stuff, and then you talk about articulation... But then you yourself, when you show off your collection, all your guys are just standing there in a standard straight pose. Don't talk about articulation and bitch about it because that is beyond annoying to me. But I mean, I mean, do what you want. I don't even know if I have the wings on right. Does it matter? Because it looks like it's the same on both sides. Just depends on how you want the ball joint to move. So yeah, you'd want this on that side because of how the joint is it goes you'll have more movement if you do it not how i did it i probably should have just paid attention to how i pulled it out of the box see like you'll get more movement if it, maybe it doesn't work that way actually doesn't work the way i thought it did i guess they're kind of the same now his wings aren't staying in at all Wonderful. That was like one of the biggest things with gold are the wings were really cool. They just didn't stay in that great But yeah, so anyone who's posing stuff on their shelf like this, it's fine But don't make a video about the articulation how much it sucks And stuff actually this guy doesn't but I'm talking about every other figure and like McFarlane when you diss McFarlane stuff like As a toy photographer, I enjoy McFarlane stuff as you've seen on my Instagram uh, just because of the sheer details like they just look great so let's see how this fits in this hand so yeah so the first thing we're gonna do though is what's up buddy what's up come here come on up here come here come see me see this guy right here my little baby mm, that's ollie all right let me get back to this so the first thing that we want to do is we're gonna use the clear coat um that's just how i've seen it done and then i think like you put that on first and then I think that that is how, like, the powder and the charcoal, whatever you, you're using, helps stick to it. So, so yeah, so that's with the uh, hand that's made for the staff. So, that'll work. Um, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put this clear on it. And then I will come back and I'll show you guys uh, the charcoal thing that I've been doing. And I, I don't think I'm doing it, I don't think there's any one way to do it or any right way to do it. Just how I'm doing it. I, I have this charcoal like this. It's like a powder. I've been using it on some stuff, as you've seen on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I do and how I do the technique. Like I, like I said, there's there might be a right way to do it. I don't know if my way is the right way. I've just been watching other people do it. And I think for this figure, I think it's going to work out really well because of the details on the wings and like his just his style and his look and he wasn't a huge big baddie you know he was uh he came out and then goldar helped him from what i remember it's been a long time since i've watched this episode from what i remember though he wasn't like a big huge oh my gosh it's king sphinx it was more like hey go on go out and then goldar is gonna roll with you and y'all to try try to take out the power rangers which you know unsuccessful so all right, I'm gonna go spray this real quick with this stuff right here, and then we'll then we'll come back again. Let me get a little bit closer for you. 
Just got it on Amazon. It's like 15 bucks. I, I was using this stuff from Walmart. That's only like five bucks. But I just want to try this out. I've never tried using this stuff yet. But this worked pretty well. Um, this is what I've seen people use though in the videos that I've watched. So, yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. Maybe it'll turn out. Maybe it won't. But uh, I've been working on it. It's been looking pretty cool. So, But to try it on a full figure, I just want to give it a go. So, stay tuned. Before I go out and spray this, I'll just show you guys. So, I have it like in this box, in the box. And I'm using like a little flight stand to hold them up. So, the way that I've been doing it, and no one's really shown how they uh, do their spray. So, I'm going to do the spray and shake it up really, really well. And then I'm going to hold it about this far away, like uh, between a foot and a half to two feet away. And I'm just going to spray it like down on it. And then it's just going to kind of fall on him. I'm not going to be like, Shh, spray the whole freaking thing, lay him on one side, flip him to the other. I'm just going to spray it gently just from about a foot and a half to two feet away. Just kind of like that. I'm going to go outside to do it, so I can't really show you in here. Just a flight stand holding him in place, as you can see, because, you know, I don't want him to move and fall over. So I'm just going to, you know, something like that. Like, I don't know. Not like that. But, yeah, you don't want to sit there and just make all over him because that is going to make a mess. And, you know, the more layers of stuff you put on them, the more you're going to lose your detail and what, you know, we're trying to get out of this because Hasbro didn't miss the paint apps. They put the stuff there so that you can add your own paint apps. Like, they did a really great job for $30 what we got. So, you know, they're not probably going to weather a figure that, you know, is already going to be $30, you know what I mean? Unless you want to pay like $50, which no one's going to want to pay for them to weather it. Because a lot of people don't want their stuff weathered, which is fine. That's It's a preference thing. So I'm going to take this out again. And uh, yeah, we'll jump back into it when we do some charcoal. Some charcoal, which you can find at craft stores, by the way, some charcoal stuff. All righty. So <clears throat> I don't know why he's just in here today. Um, never been on the 300 videos that I've done between the three channels that I've created, but now he's here on Bubble Ice. Yeah. So he's done. I, he's all done. End of the video. Take some pictures. No. So all we got to do now is, uh, charcoal. So you do the charcoal thing and you can get it. I'm using some toothbrush charcoal that I never use, um, for teeth whitening as a gimmick. That was fun, huh? Y'all try that? Anyway, just charcoal. Put a little bit on your brush, like so, and then you kind of kind of put it wherever you want. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the wings off for customizing time. It's morphing time. It's customizing time. So you have him. Now usually I have a different setup too, but I just figured this would be the easiest way. Kind of show you guys this whole process. So I got on a paper plate, got the charcoal, and. This we can start with. Should we take the head off too? Probably should because I want to do some details on the head. And that way you can get all up in this area. Now the only thing is I didn't clear coat the inside. So. And yeah, you can see like this clear coat it doesn't even look like I put anything on it. So it's kind of nice. Like you're not losing any of the details. Just kind of put it on. Like heavy-ish. Let's just do the whole thing. Well, let's just do the whole thing. So a generous amount. I'm not sure what's up with these blue highlights that they added on his forearm, underneath the eye on his stomach. That's odd. So I do it over the plate. That way I can pour any stuff, any charcoal I have left over, I can pour it back into the charcoal container. That's going to be a long video, but not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. This is something new that I wanted to show you guys that I thought was really cool. And because this guy is so grimy in all of his pictures. Some people, in my opinion, you might have over-customized, over-washed your uh, guy here. Like, he doesn't need... As much as some people put on them. But it's all about perspective, right? It's what you want. So that's a great part about this. You can do whatever you want. Some people think my stuff's overboard. So what is? 
then we're going to add some silver or white on these shoulder pads too, on these um, parts that do stand out. I didn't really do a very good review either. He has butterfly joints. He's got the ab crunch. He's got the peg torso. I just did his knees and I started talking. So I'm not a review guy. So if you want to review, there's tons of people out there that do great reviews. Is it worth buying? I think so. I think it's worth it. Have a bad guy for your lightning collection? Heck yeah. So, see how his chest looks right now? Pretty cool. Yeah, this isn't a very clean process. It's kind of messy, but the result is really cool so far. Okay, now it's all dirty. Kind of wipe off all the stuff you don't want, and it almost gives it gives it a cool look. And you could just do this and be done, but it gives it almost like an airbrush look. That's just charcoal. That was like five minutes of work. Five minutes. That was it. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna paint this. Not in front of you. Because I know that some people, like they get bored with my tutorials and stuff. But I just wanted to do like a quick tip thing. If you guys do want tutorials, um, let me know down in the description. I will do tutorials. Um, I have no problem doing tutorials. I just, a lot of people didn't really enjoy them. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. I'm gonna paint all the details. And then at the end, we'll do a breakdown. We'll look at the whole thing. Check it out. And then toy photography as per usual. And don't forget to check out beardstruggle.com and use promo code WENZILLA35 to save 15% on some beard stuff. You know, we're going to get this thing going. I know it's not quite there, but we're getting there. And you guys can get there too by using the promo code WENZILLA35. And yeah, so he's looking pretty sweet. Just look at the difference. Already crazy difference. So. I'm going to go finish them up. I'm going to do some more of this charcoal on the whole body, which you guys probably don't have to see because it might be kind of boring. But you'd probably like to do it yourself. So give it a go. Give it a try. And if you mess it up, it's just charcoal. I'm pretty sure you could just dip them in water and it'll all come off. I'm not sure about that. But you probably could find an easy way to get all this off. Let's finish up this a little bit. See how heavy I'm kind of hitting it and laying it on? And you can go over spots a couple times if you want. You're out, you're gonna get it all over yourself. It's fine, all over your hands. A lot of people wear gloves and stuff when they do customs. I don't, but no, it's okay if you do. It's cool. I get it. You probably got a good job or something. You don't want your hands all nasty like mine. Get up in the crotch area because in the toy shots, the photography. There might be a time where he's like spread and you might get like an angle. So you want to make sure to hit this. What color is his fingernails? I wonder. I got images though. I want to pull out on my phone and make sure that I get them screen accurate-ish still with. Oh, there's articulation in the tail. What a great reviewer I am. See, that's what I'm saying. There's people out there who do great reviews. There's articulation in his freaking tail though. How cool is that? So you can see his right, his left leg compared to his right leg. I haven't wiped it off yet, but oh, they still, yeah, they had some blue on there too. But yeah, it looks like we uh, painted it with an uh, airbrush. It almost gives an airbrush feel. I know that we didn't, but look at that side by side. That's just a little bit of charcoal. Anyway, I'm gonna go do this, and uh, I'll jump back in here and show you guys. King Sphinx is all set. Just got done hitting him with the clear coat here. This stuff right here that you can grab on Amazon, where I found it. 15, 16 bucks. Um, you know, pretty good amount of stuff because you're not going to be using it. Because if you stay, you know, 16 inches, about two feet away, and just do a, ch -ch, you know, nice little light spray, don't go crazy on it and drown him in a clear coat because, you know, it just lose some of its effect. And so if you just want enough on there that it's going to lock down all the powders that we used. And so you saw me use a charcoal. I use a little bit of the Tamiya also in some of the areas for the blue as he falls over for the blue and a little bit of white here and there to do some highlighting. 
and then silver on the pads there and use this silver as well from Citadel. And then on this, I did some red and blue just to make it screen accurate. So here's the red and the blue. And yeah, also hit, like I said, a little bit of white. So now I'm using paint, but I'm also using powders too to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. Um, on this, I didn't weather the staff because I just didn't feel like it was necessary. And I kind of like weapons to be shiny most of the time. Let's say I got some blood dripping on from bashing somebody or stabbing somebody, whatever. Then I'll leave it on there. And on the eyes, and I did hit with some white highlights on the wings, you can see. Like, I kind of held it to the light and saw where the white was, where the shine would be coming in. So that's where I chose to hit those areas. His eyes... If we can see them, so on the eyes, I use a little bit of this uh, Tamiya Tamaya clear red. It's almost like a jelly. It's so cool, and it's already shiny, so it stayed glossy, which is really nice. And I think that brought a lot of. I did. Uh, do a little bit of black inside the mouth and then I hit the teeth with some white also. That, I did all of that stuff uh, last night live on Instagram. So if you guys ever want to see more stuff, check out the Instagram. You know, Wentzilla on Instagram. Uh, same as Facebook. I only have one Facebook, one Instagram, one YouTube. So all of my stuff is very easy to get to. Yeah, I think this guy turned out really well. He's a beast. I did some white on the nails, on his hands, on his feetsies. His other hands also hit those with uh, some white, which is really strange, right? So his thumbnail is huge. But when he has a closed fist, his thumbnail gets shorter. Isn't that strange? No, it's whatever. It's a, you know, they have to do it that way to make it work. But, it, you know, he turned out really good. I really like him. I didn't hit it. Usually, like, in these little cracks and stuff, I would hit with a wash. I didn't do that. I wanted to go with, like, a softer tone to him. Not go all out and do a heavy weather, a heavy wash. I want to do a little bit of a lighter thing for him just because he's such, he's already a light color. And I think that if you go too heavy, I think it'll pull away from some of the highlights and stuff. And low lights and highlights is what it's all about, right? So on the top part here, I use the Tamiya powders. Also, I use some of this rust color, this orange rust. Use some of that. And you can grab this stuff also on Amazon or in your hobby stores. Hobby Lobby sells it. I'm sure many other places do as well. And then the silver, like I said, went over with this on the silver and some of the Tamiya powders also. Black inside the mouth. I think that's about it. Just wrapping it up. I did hit this with some blue, but then it all went away. So maybe I'll go over that with a little bit of this because i noticed in the picture that uh this middle part is blue so maybe i'll hit that you guys will see in the pictures which i'm really excited to do with the pictures i can't wait to get to it uh thanks for sticking around for the video um not much to break down because i pretty much went over everything in the beginning i said just hit it with highlights after i did the charcoal wash and then which was with the white paint and then the white powder which is a the Tamiya, Tamaya, however you want to say it, powder. That's the way that I do it. This isn't the way that you have to do it. If you find a new we, new we, a new way, or a new idea, go run with it. Try it out. This is just the way I'm doing. It. I just want to show it off, and you guys could research it and watch YouTube videos, Google it, and see how you know how you would want to do it. So it did work out really well. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. I know it took a couple minutes out of your day. Check this out. And uh, just remember to be kind to one another. And here are the toy photos. Thanks, guys.